Wrexham AFC was a low-level soccer club in northern Wales. The blue-collar city of Wrexham sat in the shadows of its big brothers like Cardiff and London, and the club was almost forgotten. There were some very dark times where their club was almost extinct, where fans from a working-class town had to dip into their own money just to try and save this club. That all began to change in 2020 when Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney bought the club with the goal of bringing Wrexham AFC back to life. It's an underdog story, and it's about interconnectivity between the club and the community. I don't think I've ever seen such a perfect match from owners to fans to club, for owners that genuinely care. And they held meetings with the fans, it's like a town hall, to hear what they wanted. Because Wrexham's red, Deadpool's red. That's the real reason, sorry. <laughs> We had a chat with lead ESPN soccer reporter Alexis Nunez to talk about the revitalization of Wrexham AFC and the wide-ranging impact it's had. She says it's a true Cinderella story. Literally, Wrexham have met, I think, their perfect Prince Charming in these two owners. First, the takeover of ownership spawned a hit docu-series on Hulu, Welcome to Wrexham, that followed their journey to bring Wrexham to relevance. One of the ways they did that was to open their pocketbooks. There are two main strikers up front who are now like cult heroes in Paul Mullen and Ollie Palmer. They as well were used to playing in higher leagues in England. They were able to offer them good enough contracts and, and convince them to be a part of this. Is that the gym? Yes, these will work. Next, because of this renewed vigor, they won their league, earning a promotion to a higher tier for the upcoming season later this year. Wrexham will now play in League Two. Of course, the ultimate goal would be to get promotion again and then go from League Two straight to League One. That is absolutely easier said than done. Last but not least, Wrexham's resurrection has restored pride in the city, as well as the nation of Wales. There's such a buzz there. It has completely put Wrexham and Wales on the map. I think it has helped them separate their identity from England, reminding people that they're their own person, their own identity, have their own culture, their own language, their own history. The second installment of the docu-series will be released in late 2023 and covers their run to the championship. We're getting all caught up on Wrexham AFC and gearing up for what's to come. We'll be right back.